Hello again, my friends. I'm happy to bring you another Silver Senior Silver Screen Special Biography on an old classic Hollywood movie, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. But before we get started, please kindly take a moment right now and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be alerted of every time I upload a new video. And if you haven't already seen this movie and love the old time classics like I do, I highly recommend it. Hi, I'm Lucy and this is Pancake. Thank you for joining us for another video. And if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. And just in case you haven't seen it, please know there will be some spoilers in this video. I love doing bios on old classic movies, so if you enjoy this video and would like me to do more similar to this one, please comment below or let me know which one is your favorite or which one you'd like me to do a bio on and I will try my best to do it. Also, please watch this video to the end to see some really cool behind the scenes photos, some that you've probably never seen before. And I'm also including some interesting facts and trivia too. And so without further ado, through the magic of my computer, I've colorized some of the old black and white pictures from some of my favorite scenes and hopefully they're some of your favorites too from this movie, which I find that you can see more details in them. Please let me know what you think. This movie is a drama that was released in the USA in 1958 and it stars the beautiful Dame Elizabeth Taylor movie star and the just as handsome Paul Newman. And some of the co-stars were Burl Ives, Jack Carson, Judith Anderson, Madeline Sherwood and others. It was directed by Richard Brooks, written by Tennessee Williams, and produced by Warner Brothers. This movie was nominated for six Oscars. It was filmed on location at Metro Goldwyn Mayer Studios in California. The play version of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof won the Pulitzer Prize in Drama in 1955. This movie is about Brick, who's an alcoholic ex-football player who drinks his days away and resists the affections of his wife. A reunion with his terminal father jogs a host of memories and revelations for both father and son. And now I've got some juicy tidbit trivia for you. Elizabeth Taylor proceeded with filming even though her husband, Mike Todd, was killed in a plane crash on the same day shooting began. Wow. She was a real professional and a real trooper. The references in this movie to homosexuality in the original play were removed from the screenplay to comply with the Hollywood production code. Marilyn Monroe sought the role of Maggie, the cat. After the sudden death of her husband, like I mentioned previously, Elizabeth Taylor developed a severe stutter when speaking normally. However, when she spoke on screen in the southern accent of Maggie, it had luckily abated. Elvis Presley, Robert Mitchum, and Montgomery Clift turned down the role of Brick Pullet. And even James Dean was considered to play Brick. But unfortunately and very sadly, he died before production began. Writer and director Richard Brooks had wanted Tony Franciosa and Ava Gardner to headline this movie. Also, Lana Turner and Grace Kelly were considered for the part of Maggie Pollitt, the cat. Ben Gazzara, who originated the role of Brick on Broadway, turned down the role for this movie version. And did you know that Marlon Brando was regretful that he wasn't part of this movie? 
as he believed he could play the role better. <laughs> Brick Pollitt, played by Paul Newman, at one point takes up Maggie's, Elizabeth Taylor's, nightgown and buries his face in it to demonstrate his heterosexuality. Although this movie implies strongly that his friend Skipper is Newman's true love. During rehearsals as a gag, Newman tore off his pajama jacket and stepped into the nightgown, howling, Skipper, Skipper. <laughs> the supper scene required several shootings because the cast were concerned about Elizabeth Taylor's not eating after the death of her husband. One can sense this concern on the faces of the other cast members as Elizabeth slowly eats her food after innumerable takes. The original stage play Cat on a Hot Tin Roof by Tennessee Williams premiered at the Morocco Theater in New York City on March 24, 1955 and ran for 694 performances. It was nominated for the 1956 Tony Award in New York City for the best play. Aliyah Kazan directed the production and amongst the replacement cast members during its long run was Jack Lord as Brick. And did you recognize someone else in this movie? It was Rusty Stevens who plays one of Cooper and May's children in the film. He was best known for his role as Larry Mandela, one of Beaver's pals in the classic TV sitcom Leave It to Beaver. And I love when Elizabeth Taylor <laughs> refers to them as the No Neck Monsters. If you like that one, we've got a lot more. Hotter than your morning coffee. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now, and be blessed.